بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم respected excellencies fellow entrepreneurs guests students volunteer ambassadors ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum as chairman of jumpstart pakistan it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all to what we believe is the biggest and the first of its kind enterprise conference in the history of Pakistan. This event is only made possible by the visionary leadership of our founder, Brother Khuram Zaberi. And not to forget our dedicated, passionate team that has worked day and night to make this possible. My special gratitude and thanks to our key partners, and you'll have seen many displayed uh, across the billboards everywhere. And so because of constraints of time, uh, I'm not uh, going to name them all. But it would be amiss of me not to mention the following. I actually come from Bradford, the city I adopted 50 years ago. And the University of Bradford has been a partner in my life, an educator in my life. And when this event was decided that we would take place. I went to see Mark Garrett and his team. They're here today uh, to represent the University of Bradford. It has a long relationship since Prime Minister Imran Khan became the Chancellor there. Not only did they decide to become stakeholders in this event, but what they've decided as a university to put Pakistan as a gold standard country on the list of priorities to transfer knowledge and expertise. And in that light, they're bringing a delegation in February. So the team is here, please network with them. They wanna actually engage with Pakistan to lift Pakistan into 21st century. Awais Ra Raouf uh, of University of Lahore is a personal friend of uh, Khuram Saab, and he's been a backbone of support during this journey. Rifa University, uh, Asif Rangula from Pakistan, uh, uh, British Pakistani Foundation, have been our allies of holding hands when things looked dark. Asha Jidaji and Wakas International for the outstanding venue arrangements and, and, and the work they've done tirelessly, tirelessly to make it happen today. Pakistan undoubtedly has the potential to be a great nation in the community of global nations as it has strategic geographical location, diversity of climate, abundance of natural resources, and above all, young, creative human capital. Unfortunately, for multiple reasons, this potential has largely never been realized. However, with the new government under the charismatic leadership of our Prime Minister and his capable team, we stand at a historical moment of hope and opportunities. Whilst we believe that the government will live up to its manifesto pledges of honesty, transparency, accountability, and thus delivering prosperity, we as citizens and friends of Pakistan should ask a simple question to ourselves. What can we do as individuals at this stage in life to help in this endeavor of success of the nation. The days of governments doing everything for us 
must come to an end. Pakistan, like any other nation, faces many challenges. We at Jumpstart Pakistan believe that the only sustainable long-term solution to overcoming these problems is by encouraging and nourishing a culture of enterprise in the very DNA of the nation. Jumpstart Pakistan and this LIFT conference is the manifestation of this bottom-up movement, encouraging creative, disruptive entrepreneurialism, which turns these very problems into creative solutions, thus ensuring the employment and the prosperity the nation deserves. We are encouraging and collaborating with all stakeholders and institutions here in Pakistan and across the globe to create a robust, sustainable ecosystem of enterprise that empowers individuals to realize their potential through the power of enterprise. In the last four years, we have engaged with over 50 universities to encourage our bright and talented students to move away from the wage cage culture and to adopt the empowering mindset of enterprise. Additionally, to creating the culture of startups in Pakistan, we aim to create pathways of targeted business support for SMEs, which form the backbone of this country and large enterprises to adopt modern, efficient business processes and practices that allow them to be lean, mean, effective global players, winning business in lucrative overseas markets. It is estimated that there are over 10 million overseas Pakistanis living across the globe, now into their fourth generation, in some of the most developed economies of the world. They are thriving as successful entrepreneurs with some of the most famous brands in every business sector. These are the low-hanging fruits of inward investment, transfer of skills and expertise that we must engage effectively and quickly. These passionate, patriotic Pakistanis continue to support Pakistan whenever a call is made out to them. However, we must not take their loyalty for granted, especially of the third and fourth generation whose sense of belonging needs careful management from the institutions of Pakistan. Jumpstart Pakistan has created strong stakeholders and will, will work tirelessly with private and public sector institutions here in to ensure that their concerns are acted upon actively and swiftly to build this great nation. We at Jumpstart are keenly aware that Pakistan to succeed, it must engage with all the nations of global community. However, this task has been made acutely difficult since 9-11, creating a serious image problem for Pakistan. I'm delighted to announce that we as an organization have made it our priority to rectify this situation. And I'm equally proud to announce that UNESCO City of Film and Culture of Bradford, with the support of Bradford University, I've appointed myself as the UNESCO advisor to Pakistan. We will be hosting a special panel discussion on this important initiative tomorrow, where we, we will try our level best to bring the title of UNESCO City of Film to one of the cities of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Jumpstart have a simple slogan we passionately believe in. Stronger together, building a great nation. Please join us in this great noble endeavor. 
and thank you. Enjoy the rest of the conference.